Welcome back everybody. It is the morning of May 20th. And I'm over here on my buddy's property in Pennsylvania. Uh, I'm sitting right on the edge of this big ravine. I haven't heard anything yet, but it is super windy. I don't know if you can see the trees up behind me. I'm gonna have trouble hearing anything this morning, the way this wind is. But we're out here giving it a try, so turn you on if anything cool happens here. You can see that there's been turkeys in here just recently. It's all fresh turkey scratchings up through here. There's a big gobbler track right there. The hen track. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. That's the only thing I called in was you, I guess. You sounded good. Thanks, you too. <laughs> I'm uh, Cliff Bailey. I'd shake your hand, but I don't want to get a right, we'll give you a corona or anything. They're yeah, here. We'll get somewhere. out to the truck and they'll be in the field across the street. <laughs> I know. Well, it was nice meeting you. Okay, take it easy. Yep, you what too. What's your name? Yet? Bailey? Clifford. Clifford, Clifford Bailey. Clifford yep. Bailey. Yep. No problem. Sorry, I ruined your. Oh, you didn't your... ruin shit. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I had a. I thought I had a hen coming in, and then I seen you pop over well, here. I was sitting here. And I swear to God, there's there was a hen at the end of this tree. Uh, she's got to be on. A, it wasn't a you. It was just a few soft clucks. Uh, she's got to be on a nest right yeah. there. Huh. But yeah, there, there was definitely a bird. Right in there somewhere. Right. And they go through that shit like. You'd never believe a turkey. It's like rabbit woods. Yeah. You won't believe the turkeys. Go it's it's a nightmare in there for sure. There's a lot of turkey scratchings though, and the leaves and stuff in there. So they're. I mean, there's no doubt they're here. Well, there's a lot here. I mean, it just gets aggravating. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have a good one. Okay, we're gonna head on out of here, everybody. I was able to successfully call in another hunter. So called in something. I thought it was a thought it was a hen. He did a pretty good job. He had me fooled. He's a nice guy. He said he's been in here the uh, past few days trying to get after one of these buggers and hasn't had any luck, but they're here, so I didn't hear any gobbles this morning or any turkeys for that matter, but you can see in these woods up here there's lots of turkey scratchings and Lots of sign in here, so. They're here somewhere. We'll try them again another day. Welcome back everybody. It is now the 21st of May. And I'm over here in Pennsylvania. Just looking for a, looking for a big long beard to hunt. I said this in a few videos uh, ago, that this year's been harder to find a long beard to hunt than to actually kill it when you find it, it seems. So, we got, uh, we got a week or week, a little over a week to find a long beard to kill over here in Pennsylvania, so, 
that's the mission for the next few days, just to locate one that I can hunt. So we're just sitting here on the edge of this field, waiting for one to sound off. If one's going to sound off, and we'll get a location on him, go after him. No gobbles this morning so far, so I think I'm going to get up and get in the shanty up here so I can see over the roll of this field and just kind of observe this field this morning to see if there's any, excuse me, to see if there's any uh, silent birds that are coming out here. Because where I'm at right now, there's a, there's a roll in this field and I can't see the backside, so I'm just going to go up in the shanty and just, just uh, watch the field this morning and See if there's any long spurred turkeys that don't gobble that come out here. I've been sitting on this field for a few hours this morning and didn't observe really anything, so we're gonna grab uh, Silent Bob here and head back to the truck. I named this turkey Silent Bob after the turkey that uh, we killed with it this year. The turkey that we killed with it, I called Silent Bob because he gobbled hardly at all and uh, the woods that was that it was in uh, is where the Bob came from so in honor of Silent Bob we've named my strut and decoy Silent Bob so let's take Silent Bob and see if we can go find another turkey somewhere we are back to the house and this morning's turkey hunt ended up being a total bust but uh I got the sprayer hooked up to the gator and we're gonna go spray my gator paths. Every year I make sure and spray my gator paths, usually around the end of May, to uh, make sure all the foliage is dead on them, otherwise they grow up and turn into an absolute mess. So this way it keeps them open. I spray it with uh, the stuff called Cornerstone. This is a 30 gallon sprayer and it works absolutely awesome. It covers an eight, foot, an eight feet swath with this works really good. I want to make sure you wear one of these things because they say that this uh, weed killer stuff is causing cancer and stuff so rather not rather not get cancer. We'll go spray it and I'll see you tomorrow on uh, hopefully a more eventful turkey hunt. Never heard or seen any turkeys today so it's pretty uneventful but we'll see you on tomorrow's video. Good morning everybody. It is Friday May 22nd and uh we're over here in pennsylvania we're just trying to find a turkey to hunt it's really the goal i've hunted the last three days over here and haven't heard or seen a bird to hunt which sucks but once we find one it'll be in trouble but that's the thing we gotta find one so we'll see maybe this morning's the morning we'll hear one gobble somewhere
That's gonna do it on this morning's turkey hunt. We uh, had a fun set there. It started sprinkling and uh, so I just set up on the edge of that food plot that Slava's just uh, worked up and uh, there's two hens that came out and dusted. The hen dusted there for literally 20 minutes and uh, saw doe and a little baby fawn come up the edge of the field. It's a fun morning to sit there and enjoy mother nature so now I gotta go to work.